Hey, yeah. So, making another video to promote my book, Meta Dimensional Out on Kindle. Okay, so uh, in a previous video, I said that I had made one action, took one action, one hypothesis that experience is fundamental in this book. And that nothing produces experience, that it, the only thing that produces experience is itself. Um, but there's a problem with that. Like, if experience is self-sufficient, it produces itself. It doesn't need anything to exist. Um... And on the other hand, I cannot prove that there's something that it's like to be you or anyone. That's like a problem in, um, like a pretty basic problem in in uh, philosophy. I think like it's kind of like obvious that I I don't have a way to breach the confines of my perception and somehow prove that you exist. Uh, so. If I only take that axiom, then I, I'm I'm led to solipsism. I'm led to the idea that um, I'm this only the only thing that it's like to be is me. And the problem with that is that it's simply uh, like take take for example uh, for example. Let's say I I need to wash my clothes. I put my clothes in a washing machine and I turn it to, a, to the setting I thought was correct. And instead, it, uh, it, and I go, I go out, of the, out of the house, return after a few hours. Now, question is, what is cleaning my clothes? You have to remember that I'm saying experience, not consciousness. There is no memory of the type that could maintain uh, the operation of the washing machine when I'm gone. Or and if the washing machine ruins my shirt, unless for that to be my experience, uh, it has to be that I want to be ruined but I don't even think about it so in order to avoid that kind of because yeah you have to remember again this isn't consciousness if this was consciousness if we were talking about consciousness you could have said there's a mechanism some kind of a back end for uh, for consciousness that makes sure that reality keeps on operating while the observing experience uh, knows nothing about it. But this isn't what I'm arguing. I'm not arguing that consciousness is fundamental. I don't think it is fundamental. I'm saying experience. And when I do that, in order to avoid solipsism, which doesn't make any sense, I have to take to simply, uh, and, bec and because I can't prove otherwise, I take another axiom, which is to reject solipsism as an axiom, because that's the only way to make, uh, to somehow make reality um, sensible. Once you assume the first axiom that experience is fundamental. And so you cannot, so according to, once you follow my rationale, you will no longer be able to say, um, I cannot prove that there is something that it's like to be you. Well, I cannot prove that you specifically are a zombie, uh, that so, there's nothing that's like to be you, or if that there is something that's like to be you, um, or whether it's my own body that animates an avatar that looks like something, but I'm taking it as, a, as an axiom that some of the things that I'm interacting with, there is something that's like to be them. And yeah, that's the second axiom. And it's, it's kind of like a, it's not exactly, 
straightforward why you need that axiom because it, it's, it's kind of like common sense until it's not until it's like oops i cannot say that because i haven't proved it so, I have, so you have to just assume it and yeah so that's the second axiom